One good question is what is a fast and what breaks a fast? And if you have a bit of cream in the coffee, are you going to like, you know, stop all the benefits? And the answer is no. You could take even, you know, even up to like 500 calories in that fasting day and still get the benefits. The point is that a lot of the benefits come from lowering insulin. Because remember, insulin is the hormone that tells us to be in the fed state, which means we should be storing food energy. As it goes down, then you're gonna go into the fasted state, which is where you're gonna pull food energy back out. So if you take a little bit of cream in your coffee or if you, you know, mistakenly eat a little something, what happens is that your insulin levels are falling, falling. Yeah, they're gonna blip back up a little bit if you kind of make a mistake, but then they're gonna start falling again. So no big deal. It actually doesn't really matter. So we do a lot of uh, variations of fast and some people do very well. So there are, so classic fasting is sort of water fasting, water only fasting. Uh, and then you go into like, allow things like herbal teas and green teas and clear teas, and then you allow another variation. You can allow coffee and maybe a little bit of cream, no sugar, sugar is not good. Um, and then there's other ones with like bone broth, which does have some calories, it has some protein. Again, the, because if you eat dietary fat, natural fats, I like cream and butter and so on, they have calories, but they have very little insulin effect. So the benefits of fasting come from lowering the hormone insulin. So even if you eat that cream in the coffee or bulletproof coffee or whatever, you're still getting a lot of the benefits of the fasting. But at the same time, if you're taking a little something, it may make it go easier. Um, we often tell people to drink lots of tea uh, because green tea, for example, has some uh, something called catechins. Uh, which are antioxidants and chemicals which have the effect, one, of blunting the appetite to some degree and also uh, with the caffeine, um, green tea does have a little caffeine, so caffeine and the catechins together seem to keep the metabolic rate high as well. So there's, you know, the effect is not huge, but again, here's something that you can use during fasting like green tea that may be very beneficial um, and may help you get through those sort of hunger periods and so on.